One of the benefits of a gift such as this is that it allows researchers to pursue risky research. Cancers ranging from breast cancer to prostate to childhood cancers, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, muscle diseases. These are problems that are oftentimes not fundable through traditional governmental sources. Mr. Taubman's generosity has already allowed us to pursue areas of high risk, but hopefully high return research that we otherwise would be unlikely to be able to pursue. Alfred Taubman has now given us an additional $56 million, which will make the funding of the Taubman Institute now reach $100 million. And what this is gonna allow us to do, and when I say us, I mean many biomedical researchers here at the University of Michigan is to translate what we find here in the laboratory into our clinics. That is for clinician researchers, clinician scientists. And these are individuals who both see patients at the hospital and in our clinics and also run laboratories. So what it allows is for these scientists to take their discoveries from the laboratory and translate them into new therapies into patients. Benefactors such as Mr. Taubman allow us to do these studies, allow us to hopefully make a major contribution to the understanding of health and disease and to alleviate human suffering. This is a very special day for me. It's the culmination of years of collaboration with the great scientists at the University of Michigan. I know this is money well spent because I've seen the progress they're making against terrible diseases. We're getting closer to the day we all dream of when we have cures for diseases like cancer, diabetes, stroke, and ALS. I haven't known any, any philanthropist in my life who put as much uh, of his personal uh, work and personal reputation on the line and his resources to change public policy for the better. It is astonishing. Mr. Taubman recognizes that we need to go beyond current funding resources to fuel the kind of research that the world needs. You gave us all such hope, and I am deeply, deeply grateful, as we all are. Thank you, Brian. So, congratulations. I've seen a lot of human pain and suffering in my time. Our overriding mission at the Taubman Institute is to ease that suffering and end that pain. When you have a visionary philanthropist like Alfred Taubman in your corner, anything is possible. And it is our honor and our privilege to rename our building on the medical school campus as the A. Alfred Taubman Biomedical Science Research Building. <laughs>